This is Rhonda Green, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit today about um, policy violations. Apparently, uh, I was unaware that a certain product called Black Ice was actually uh, uh, trademarked in a big and hairy way. Um, this is what it looks like normally, and it's uh, little trees, and they have this as uh, their. Uh, air freshener, car air freshener, which I didn't even, I didn't even know, sorry for that, apologize, and uh, so, and I, you know, never really thought, well, you know, that would be mistaken for the, the car refresher, but that's okay. Anyway, so, uh, black ice isn't a big seller for us anyway, and so, uh, what we're going to do is just go ahead into Amazon. Now, Amazon is the, uh, uh, Little Trees actually went into all of my accounts and uh, put a flag on everything that I had because I had listings of Black Ice in uh, Etsy and eBay and all of that kind of stuff, which I uh, promptly deleted. And I've actually deleted all of these, right? So um, we're going to go in, and this is going to hurt. Uh, let me see. Submit new information. We're just going to go through this. Um, you can actually call somebody, but they'll tell you the exact same thing. Just admit it and get everything back. Now, uh, or, you know, take everything offline. One of the things that you need to know, too, is that if you have inventory in Amazon, they keep the inventory. So we don't have, we don't carry inventory in Amazon. If we had product, they would keep it and destroy it or uh, do something else. It would no longer be ours, if that makes sense. So that's another reason to go ahead and ship your own. Um, submit new information. Uh, I submitted that I bought the fragrance and that we actually make it so it's not uh, counterfeit but um, that's not what they were looking for. Okay, and so what we're going to do is I understand the policy via and acknowledge the violation because they're not going to let let me get out of anything other than that and because I don't have documentation. Little Trees doesn't let anyone use it so it, as far as I know, right? And really, you know, uh, maybe 10 sales a year of Black Eyes I'm just going to let go. Okay, so I understand the policy and acknowledge the violation. Now, I thought, well, I could just go ahead and just do one, but they want you to click all of that, right? So, I understand. I have reviewed the original notification. I understand my listing uh, violation. Uh, do not have the documents to reactivate the listing. I've taken steps to prevent violating the policy in the future. I understand the acknowledge, that acknowledging this violation may not remove the record and account uh, from my impact, which I have pretty much 100% anyway. I understand the via, if the violation record is removed from my account, my listing will remain deactivated, which, I mean, that's a, a no-brainer. I've already deleted all of the listings. Um, I understand that any fulfilled by Amazon inventory will remain on hold even if the violation is removed from my account. So, once again, I ship my own stuff, and uh, so there's nothing in their facilities. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to submit it and see if this crashes my Amazon account. And you will review and receive a reply within two to three days. Now, one of the things that I've, you know, I've never really had this kind of violation or uh, scary encounter with Amazon before like this and uh, um, one of the things that I could do because it's they can't uh, they can't stop the uh, the supplier from selling the fragrance right but I just can't use the black ice name right or I could modify it black and ice or whatever but um, if I really wanted to because this this was pretty hairy what I could do um, 
is rename it. And so what I could do, and I, I thought about it, it made me feel better. Instead of black eyes, it would be Caden. Like that's a, a, a hip men's name if I wanted to relist it. And uh, I may, but I remade the label. I don't know if I'll relist it or not. Like once again, it didn't sell that much. Uh, probably because no one can get it in any other variation other than the tree thing. So, uh, but anyway, so there's that. Yep. And uh, um, so there you have it. I don't think anything will happen. If it does, I'll go ahead and repost something. So this is Rhonda Green. Thank you for listening.